Now we are going to demonstrate a distinct model. The slip model, specifically designed for the purpose of long-term EGM monitoring, will be showcased to provide you with valuable insights. This particular model is well known for its utilization of thin, flat, low-volume electrode chambers, as well as the incorporation of silver chloride electrodes in its design. Since we are conducting a long-term monitoring, it is recommended to utilize electrode paste for this particular model. Upon wearing this little hat, we need to secure it with a special fixing helmet to ensure proper fastening and protection. Now we will place it on him. He has a designated slot where we thread the main cable through. This slot is specifically designed for this purpose, allowing us to securely pass the main cable and ensure proper connectivity. The cable, similar to the helmet used in the clinic, comes to an end with a connector that is designed to fit into the input connector of the electroencephalograph machine. Various manufacturers have different connectors, so the corresponding part is installed based on the compatibility with the connector of a specific manufacturer. This train is also characterized by the fact that it departs from the top, allowing the patient to sleep comfortably throughout the journey. Flat electrodes are also used for the patient to feel comfortable, you know, they provide a good experience. Furthermore, these caps also make use of pre-installed electrodes for referencing in the mastoid projection, enhancing accuracy and reliability of measurements. Here's the procedure for the installation. We initiate the process by filling the electrodes with paste, ensuring proper coverage and consistency. You can accomplish this task by utilizing a spatula, or alternatively, you have the option of employing pre-made syringes that are already filled with paste. We have the ability to fill it. At this very moment, we will work with a spatula. Make sure to turn the hat inside out for the desired effect. And we fill electrode after electrode with paste, continuously and without pause, ensuring that each one is thoroughly coated before moving on to the next electrode in the process. The expense is minimal. Initially, we fill the sagittal line. Initially, the parasagittal, then the electrical, in a particular order, so as not to miss any electrodes and to ensure we stay on track. All right, we have successfully filled all the electrodes with paste and now we are meticulously placing them on the head of the patient, who is a guinea pig, in order to conduct the experiment and gather accurate data for our research purposes. And we secure all the small electrodes tightly. Lightly fasten the helmet to ensure security. and we commence scrubbing. Let us seize a scrubbing brush and get to work on cleaning. And we commence the treatment of the skin located underneath each electrode with care and precision. We extensively process underneath the electrode, which serves as our grounding, as well as underneath the electrodes that will be positioned on the mastoid processes of the subject's head. Okay, we have successfully installed the small electrodes. We made sure that it is within the acceptable impedance range. Afterward, we ensure the entire shebang is secured by utilizing a special little mesh. Okay, we have confirmed that the impedance is acceptable. We fixed the capacitor with electrodes by adding an extra mesh, and now we are ready to put our model on a special couch designed specifically for this purpose. Everything is in place and we are fully prepared for the next steps. In actual circumstances, this ill individual will be confined to bed. And subsequently, the electroencephalogram monitoring commences for numerous hours, a large number of hours for the duration required. Thank you.